Wow, it's the RAV4! Lionel, are you going to review this car today? No honey, we're not reviewing the RAV4. However, we will be checking out TSS. TSS? Hello everyone, it's Lionel again. And hi, I'm Hanli. So Lionel, what is TSS? Well, before I explain that, right? Mm -hmm. Traditionally, car makers have standard safety equipment in their cars like airbags, seat belts, ABS, and even traction control systems. However, Toyota has entered a new generation of safety with TSS. So, what does TSS mean? <laughs> well, actually, it stands for Toyota Safety Sense. Mm -hmm. It is a suite of safety systems in a car, right. like the dynamic radar cruise control, the lane departure alert, the lane tracing alert, and an automatic high beam. What? I'm lost. Don't worry about it. You get to drive today, and I will sit beside you and explain. I get to drive, I know? Wow, let's do this! So, uh, the first thing we're going to check out today is the RCC Dynamic Radar Cruise Control. Cruise Control is a, it's a feature a lot of cars have these days. Similar to uh, systems okay. all around, just set a speed that you're comfortable with. So, uh, Hani, go yep. ahead and uh, press, press the, the button. DRCC button. Okay, right here. Yes, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, you can see on your MID it's turned on. Yes. And then, uh, just press the set the button. Yep, got it. When you press the set button, the system detects the current speed of your car and it will directly put it at that current speed. If you want to increase the speed, you can press the, the plus, plus button, button on top right. of it. Yep. So I'm actually following the car right in front of me mm -hmm. without pressing my accelerator. Mm -hmm. If you want to change distances, there oh. is a button on the top left corner. That's this right. Yep. There are three settings, far, medium and uh, near. As you can see, the car in front, he's traveling about 80 kilometers. So this system has uh, slowed the car down. I yeah. see. So that's the dynamic in the name, right? Uh, mm. It speeds up and slows Very down accordingly. Cool features. Mm. So I won't hit him. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He will follow the speed in front of my in front yeah. of the car. Yeah, I think this system is uh, very good for uh, highway driving. Yeah. yeah, and it's also very good for like, you know, in front of you, if it's like a lorry, a mm. big lorry, you don't want to, you know, too near to that lorry because it's mm. really dangerous. So this feature is really good. Yeah, just set a far distance, go yeah. back from him. Yeah, speaking of a lorry, you see that? <laughs> I saw that. <laughs> Let's check out LTA next. LTA stands for Lane Tracing Assist. So mm -hmm. on the top left corner of your multi-informational display, you can see LTA is switched on. There are two solid white lines and next to the, those two solid white lines are two solid blue lines. When LTA is activated, you will see the solid yes. blue lines. Solid. Yeah. So now, just keep your hands gently on the steering wheel mm -hmm. and the car should follow the lane by itself. So the wow. car, the, the, the system detects uh, the lines on the left and right and just keeps you in the lane gently. The limitations of the system is that sometimes when the lines are blurred, yeah. the lines are not properly painted, maybe even the shoulder of the road, it doesn't detect very well. So of course, keep your hands on, on the, the wheels, wheels at all times. <laughs> so when LTA is turned on, LDA is also automatically turned on. LDA is the lane departure alert. However, LTA only works when DRCC is activated. So if you deactivate DRCC, only LDA works. I see. Just check that out. Okay. So yeah. I deactivate this. Yeah, you deactivated DRCC. All right. So I got it. Yeah. Similarly, you need very obvious lines on the road uh, <laughs> for this system to work. If the system detects you're leaving the lane, it will, it beep. will beep at you. It okay. will give you an audible alert. And I think the steering will also move slightly push, to yes. push you back into the lane. So okay. try again. You hear that? Yeah. It beats yes. to inform me that I'm off track. As long as you do not signal when you leave the lane, the system thinks you're leaving the lane accidentally and it will beep at you. So an audible alert and also the steering will pull you back. It's really good for safety reasons. So all three systems, how do you think? I love okay? it. I love it very much. 
it's very comfortable. I mean, it's really convenient for people who travel a lot. Like every day, you have to travel in the jam or long distance back to your kampong. You know, these are very good for people like that. Okay, we end up with our final feature of today, which is AHB. It stands for Automatic High Beam. So when the high beam is toggled on in the car, the camera here in the center will detect any oncoming vehicles and will automatically lower the beam. When the vehicle has passed, it will automatically increase the beam again to a high beam. Yeah, this seems like a system that will only activate at certain speed. I mean, it would be weird if you are going really slow around your taman, for example, and the high beam keeps coming on. Yeah, flicking it on and off, right? Yeah, yeah that would be pretty strange. That's why the system only turns on after speeds of 40 kilometers an hour. I see. Yeah, more vision, more safety, yo. Right. <laughs> Well, I've tried all the system and I have to say, I'm so impressed. It makes my life easier and safer as a driver. Mm -hmm. But we also want to emphasize that these systems are no substitute for good driving habits. So be alert, keep your eyes on the road, don't play with your phones. Really, we just want everyone to be safe out there. Yes, too true. So that's all from us for this episode on PSS. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel if you enjoy the video. We'll see you at our next video, alright? Bye! Bye.